All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, as usual, Mark Pierce. We are sitting fireside today in the cave. Why are we doing that? It can only mean one thing. It is slow down Sunday, and we are slowing it down. Cup of Joe in my Biscuit Love mug. If you don't know Biscuit Love, you don't know breakfast. Resting brunch face. Next time you're in Nashville, check that place out and know they are not paying me for this advertising. Got my crushed velvet jacket on his debut. Quite comfortable, perfect for slow down Sunday, huh? All right, so what are we talking about today? Well, we are talking on this date, 1981, really, 82, but 81, Neil Diamond releases this single, yesterday's songs and it goes to number one for six weeks uh and it's number one this week in 1982. uh six weeks at number one this is a great song we'll talk about that in a minute but neil diamond born in uh brooklyn got a guitar at the age of 16. went to nyu pre-med on a fencing scholarship was part of the 1960 NCAA men's championship fencing team. How about that? Got bored with school, dropped out, typical story, got into music, and the rest was history. Uh, who doesn't love Neil Diamond? I mean, I got into Neil Diamond. Again, this song, yesterday's song, this is probably the first song that I remember getting into as a kid. Like, I don't know when I was introduced to the jazz singer, but this song is one of the first ones that I remember actively buying the 45 and just sitting around playing it. Chris Kennedy, I know you're out there. We just pl played this 45 a lot and just really enjoyed this song. Um, and then, you know, I probably appreciated some Neil Diamond along the way, but really didn't get into him again until just at the, really at the end of college, sometime around 1990, early 90s. For some reason, I got back into the 70s, uh, really, Yacht Rock stuff. I was listening to... Uh, you know, Neil Diamond, The Carpenters, uh, got into Gordon Lightfoot, I was just enjoying that music a lot then and became a new appreciation for Neil Diamond. Now again, he sold over 100 million records and we're on Slow Down Sunday, so we're concentrating on his slow songs. Uh, we'll, maybe we'll do some more of his uh, other songs another time, but he is turning 80 at the end of this month as well, so uh, it'll be a happy birthday to him. Um, so what are your favorite Neil Diamond songs? I mean, he's got some great stuff out there. Again, yesterday's songs is your song of the day, but uh, we got a bunch to talk about. Oh, we got a microphone issue. We're just gonna let it fly here. We're just gonna keep going. Microphone cord. Um, but you got Forever in Blue Jeans, for instance. Whenever that song comes on, I'm just, I turn it up. I mean, I just love Forever in Blue Jeans, and that's another song, right? Like, you hear that one enough? I mean, everyone knows the words to that song, right? Or when you hear it, it just makes you happy. I mean, who, who doesn't love that song? You got Song Song Blue, Sweet Caroline, which we can't cover right now, but obviously the whole world knows Sweet Caroline. Everyone knows that. I mean, it's a great song, and it's certainly, hey, the Caroline in the family here. Of course we have to be uh, conscious of that one. Uh, Hello Again. Love on the Rocks, again, an early one that I was really obsessed with when I heard it. Uh, I really liked that song, Love on the Rocks. Um, you Don't Bring Me Flowers, Play Me, and I Am I Said. These are all a lot of his great slow songs. I Am I Said, also one of the ones when I got the Greatest Hits Volume 1 and 2 on CD that I would play a lot. That's a great tune that you don't hear enough of, so a favorite, a personal favorite of mine. Um, but those are really a handful of his slow songs. Obviously, I left a lot out of his songs and lots, many of them are more up-tempo um, but those are that's just a snippet of some of his slow songs so we're going to do Neil Diamond today we're going to throw maybe a few of them up there but that's just a short list of the, some of the slow songs so play some Neil Diamond today uh, tell me what your favorites are comment below uh, you know I love hearing from you guys a great discussion yesterday speaking of conversations uh, if you didn't catch the Sound of Silence yesterday with Disturbed versus Simon and Garfunkel. Check it out again. Disturbed, that video, 120 million views almost on YouTube. That's a lot of views. Uh, and uh, that version is a hauntingly good version, one of the best live performances I've ever seen before. You have to see it live. You have to see the Conan O'Brien version to completely appreciate his voice. And that orchestra is amazing. And especially if you have the ability to play that 
turned up. Turn on your sound bars, turn on your speakers, put it on your TV and listen to that a few times and I guarantee you, you will be a better person because of it. But I love the discussion that everyone had and I'm glad if you never heard it before that, uh, that you've been able to hear it and that now it's in your heavy rotation. So I gotta put another log on the fire. We're just relaxing, it's slow down Sunday. We got Neil Diamond in the house. Uh, enjoy it, have a great day. We got a great week coming up so stick with me. And as usual, catch on the flip side.